have liftoff of the Space Shuttle Columbia, continuing space research through Heather Satellite Technology. On February 25, 1996, NASA and Italian researchers made a bold attempt to harness the power in the atmosphere. They generated electricity with a satellite on a wire. Good work. Let's make sure we stay that way. Understand. The mission was part of a new experiment of tethering satellites in space. The experiment was based on the simple principle that when you move a conductor through a magnetic field, electrons start to flow. This generates an electrical current that can flow through a circuit. The satellite was thrust into space using small gas jets, and the 13-mile-long cable began to unreel. If you put a, a wire inside of that tether, you now have a moving wire that moves across a magnetic field. That magnetic field, in this case, is the Earth's magnetic field, and the motion is the motion of the space shuttle moving at very fast, high velocities, uh, orbital speeds. Things look fine down here, Jeff. The moving wire in the Earth's magnetic field generated 3,500 volts, enough energy to power a space station. Okay, we, we see the uh, tension go way down, but the tether's still going out fine. Uh, very slight lateral oscillation. The tether was clearly visible from the ground. It was one of the biggest man-made objects ever sent into space. For five hours, the tether swept through our planet's magnetic field, generating more and more electricity. At the boom, the tether has broken and is going away from us. Get it on the Get it on the TV, Claude. Please get it on the TV. The tether has broken. Copy. Trying to photograph it floating away from us. Looking back, we quickly saw that, in fact, the tether had broken. This was a very... Uh, it's a big shock. It's, a, it's kind of an empty feeling in, in the pit of your stomach when you look and you realize that there, there is the tether moving away from us at about 80 feet per second, and you just wanted to reach out and grab it. The wire was generating so much electricity that a spark jumped from the wire to the satellite deployment system and burned through the tether. The $440 million experimental satellite just drifted away. Yes, sir. Well, those are some tether dynamics we did not want to see. Well, well, we have, we have demonstrated that you can generate a lot of electricity with tether, and uh, unfortunately, we've also demonstrated that you can use tethers to uh, launch a satellite into a much higher orbit. NASA will try the experiment again because it could lead to a new, more reliable power system for space stations and help avoid situations like the Mir mishap. We're moving, uh, uh, moving to actually is if we drive current in the opposite direction in the tether and if we can force the current to go the other way, it becomes a propulsive device. So a propellantless spacecraft, the next generation of, of uh, space travelers may be using electric propulsion devices as opposed to chemical propulsion devices. A little Star Trek, if you will.